Look alive, sunshine. Today, Justice League trailer one came out. We had the teaser now. We have the full trailer. Came out two days ago. I was away. I was not able to make it, but Spider-Man Homecoming trailer is coming out tomorrow. And then I wouldn't be able to make a video for this. And I was going to just let it go, but I can't let it go because I just watched it again. And when it comes to the DCEU, I don't need a script for a video. I don't need just anything. I don't need any time because there's just so much to just, like, say. It just flows out. So we're just going to get started with everything going on in this trailer. So this trailer is just bringing all of the Justice League members together and showing the moviegoers who don't know what Justice League is or who they are, who's in the team, what the dynamic is going to be, and what the tone of the film is going to be because we have the rock music from like the Beatles and the White Stripes, and then we just have that with the action sequences, and it just has a very light rock and roll tone to it, which is very like, like not those two things are not supposed to go together, but this seems to do it really perfectly. So we get introduced to Aquaman, who is basically this guy who doesn't give a shit, doesn't give a fuck now. What I just feel is they they gave the actors, like if you're into the DCEU, if you're into the fandom, you know these actors and you know their personalities. And in this trailer, you just see so much Ezra Miller in The Flash and you see so much Jason Momoa in Aquaman. And you also see, you know, Gal and some Wonder Woman stuff. So it's just like... These, these people and the characters are going to work very well together because it's who they are as a person but in their character. So I think that's really cool. I think that's a good way to give a good performance is to kind of see something in that character. But these people aren't just seeing themselves in the character. They're being themselves as these characters. So that's automatically going to be like a really cool thing. But Aquaman, he just like awesome. A whole different take on Aquaman. They needed to change him. We, we weren't going to take a orange and green, you know, a white guy, we're not, we're, we, that was not going to happen for this movie, and Zack Snyder and DC, they knew, so they cast Jason Momoa, who was awesome casting. Then we get The Flash, they reused the f most of the Flash footage in this trailer that we've already seen in the teaser, which kind of sucked, but we still got some cool shots of uh, just the fastest man alive, if, that, if there's any way to describe it, that's it right there. Zack Snyder is the perfect person to do The Flash. Now, you can argue with me all day about storytelling and him directing Superman, but him taking on The Flash, especially The Flash in action, that's just unquestionable. You have to agree that, that he is the best person for this job because of his visual just directing skills and his Dr. Manhattan stuff and his, and his 300 stuff. It's just like this, that little scene of him with like, I'm not trying to shit on the CW right now, but when Barry runs in the CW show, it's just like really, like you see his fast moving hands and you see like, like just like the lightning and just like his upper body and it's mostly because of the budget, but it's also because it's just like that's how they did it, but like this, the movie, it shows him in slow motion running because that's how he sees the world and the, the electricity around him and just everything was done perfectly for the Flash. I can't get over the Flash. Also, we see Barry's dad in prison. Now, that doesn't mean anything for regular people, but for us as comic book fans, that, that just opens the door to everything. That opens it to everything for the Flash. That means the Reverse Flash is confirmed. If you did not know, the Reverse Flash killed Barry's mother. His dad was accused of it. His dad went to prison. So that's why he's in prison. It could be for another reason, but of course they're not going to do that. Because they would be, that's even, that's too stupid for DC and Warner Brothers. But they, they, they did this and he's in the universe, which means that the Flash movie will possibly, most likely have a Reverse Flash, which is awesome. Because he's like the best, uh, Villain of the Flash, of the Rogues, not, he's not part of the Rogues, but in his gallery of villains, he is the best, and besides Captain Cold, Captain Cold is like close second, but like Reverse Flash just like challenges him on so many different levels, it's so cool to see that that's actually happening, okay, so now that we're done with the Flash, we can talk about Wonder Woman, now Wonder Woman is in it, we have seen Wonder Woman, we're gonna, we're gonna merge Wonder Woman and Batman together, because there are returning characters, and we've known them, and they're trying to get these, oh wait, fuck, damn it, I'm sorry, Cyborg. I just left Cyborg out. I was just, like, so focused on, like, Wonder Woman and talking about it. But Cyborg is now here. Now, Cyborg is a character that we're going to see the backstory of in this film. And I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. Cyborg was kind of iffy for me. That's, like, the only thing kind of, like, like I'm kind of, like, on the fence about because of just, like, the way he looks. It looks very CGI, and I hate saying that because it's, like, how else are you going to do it? You're going to do it CGI. 
but it just looks weird. I don't know. This may, might, might be something with the design and the red thing and, the, and then his helmet coming down to make him look like Deadshot. Just like something was weird about that for me. I didn't, it didn't click with me. I, didn't, I don't fuck with that, but just Victor by himself and student athlete, you know, and the emojis and the meme now, it's just like, it's kind of hard to see past that. So I don't know. Maybe it'll get better. Hopefully it gets better. I'm not sh I'm not hoping for it to get worse. I'm obviously hoping for, hoping for it to get better. So hopefully he gets better. He doesn't need to get better. I need to get better because obviously he's really good because he's just awesome in all his ways. But I just can't see past it. So hopefully I get that around my mind. Now, Cyborg is out of the way. Wonder Woman and Batman, okay? Now, now Wonder Woman and Batman. They are tasked with the job of bringing these people together to fight Stephen Wolf, aka Darkseid, because, not aka, but Stephen Wolf is the, is like, he's a worker of Darkseid's, let's not get into that. Wonder Woman and Batman are here. Now, Wonder Woman is, I don't know, she's, she's a character, we're gonna see her movie before Justice League, let's just, you know, I'm not trying to shit on her, but there's like really nothing to say, because it's like, you know, she's awesome, and you know, She's like gonna kick ass, so that's really all we got from it. Like, Cause we've seen her, we've seen all her stuff, and she has her movie coming out. So like, we don't need backstory, we don't need character development, because we're gonna get all that. So, Batman. Let's talk about Batman. Now, I would I would treat Batman like Wonder Woman if it wasn't for the fact that Batman is getting like kind of like harassed in the comments of YouTube videos because of his killing and like why would he, he's so brutal and everything with his guns and his you know and his big ass armor and and it's just you want, you, basically, they want Batman to come in with handcuffs and arrest the parademons and send them to Blackgate, which is not going to happen. You literally can't do that. You physically can't do that, even as Batman. It's just easier to just fucking mow them down because you can't take so much time and they're invading your Earth and they're not, they're like, they're not even there brain-wise, so it doesn't even make sense that you're trying to find that to make any difference about the Batman character, but him as just like, that's like fucking Bruce Wayne, I don't, I think like, you know, those, those lines, those little like, I'm rich, you know, like, what's your superpower, and he says, I'm rich, I think those lines are just so Batman, so Bruce Wayne, because every once in a while, like, in comics and cartoons and video games, you all of a sudden get this sarcastic Batman, and you're just like, that was like a weirdly funny thing that he says. Now, I think that they might overdo it in <laughs> Justice League, uh, that, that, that characteristic of his because of the light tone and because of just like the setting I think they might overdo his little one-liners but uh, I, I kind of hate that but you, I don't I don't know that they will so they might not they might I don't know but um, just like Batman is just like awesomely done in this movie because of like this movie is all visuals and that's what Zack Snyder is this isn't gonna be a storytelling movie which is totally cool of me I don't need that I don't, I, I don't need that in my life. Batman v Superman, I kind of needed it to tell a story to kick off the DCEU. But Justice League, I could totally see how it could just, you know, be its own kind of movie. And, and was with some obvious, you know, storytelling because Zack Snyder does know how to do it. So, And then the last member is Superman. Now, we didn't get to see Superman. I don't want to see Superman. I think that is something that they need to wait for it for the movie. I, I totally see him doing it in trailer 3 or trailer 4. But I just don't see that happening because, like, that is just, like, blowing the shit out of the door. And it's just, like, like that doesn't make any sense to do. It's just, it, it, I, it's like a big spoiler. I don't know if that, but it's, like, not a spoiler because, obviously, the coffin. But not everybody saw the coffin at the end of Batman v Superman. So I don't know what they're going to do with Superman. I just don't want to see him until Justice League. I think that would be a cool reveal and a cool weight thing. Or I think, I don't know, it would be really cool to see him just in his black suit, long hair, just show up. So... Now another problem, not another problem, just another thing. So the mother boxes, okay, is what Darkseid is after, what he sent Stephen Wolf and his parademons after on Earth. He's after these mother boxes, all controlling supercomputers, that's all, that's all they are. So, one is uh, with Star Labs, Cyborg's dad, one is with the Atlanteans, and then one is with the, the Mascarans. Now, the Mascarans? Yeah, that's what they're called. So, this might have a case of bringing together a little too many people. I don't know if that's going to, like, I don't know if that's going to fuck with anything, if that's going to mess anything up. It just seems like it might because of the Atlanteans and we just seen them in Wonder Woman and then that huge battle scene between the Atlanteans and the Parademons. And that's, like, that would take up a lot of the action, like, 
obviously, like, superhero movies or action movies have their beginning fight, their middle fight, and then their end fight, and it just seems like this might be a little bit too much fighting. I don't know. But it's just, I don't know, because, like, the Atlanteans and the Themyscirans and the mother box with the, like, regular humans, the mundanes, are just, like, you know, is that too many people, too many backstories to explain? Because, like, obviously we can kind of take a step back with explaining the Themyscirans, Themyscirans? because of the Wonder Woman movie, because that we got all the shit that we need to know from that bitch. So, Atlanteans, like, we don't know, because, like, Aquaman's not coming out till next year, so we don't know, like, anything about the Atlanteans. And then you see Mero just, like, looking beautifully awesome, coming through the water, and just, like, being the queen that she is. And just, you just kind of want to know more about Atlantis, but you're going to get it later. But they might try to explain it in Justice League, which I, I think would be a bad idea because of the Aquaman movie. I think that that is the best place to do it, just like the Themyscirians should be explained in the Wonder Woman movie. So, I don't know. It might be a little bit of overcrowding issues, but maybe not. I don't know. So, hopefully that works out. So, I just, I just liked the trailer. It was hype, and it was just everything I want for the Justice League movie, I can't find anything wrong. I can't find how I would do it differently. And, like, because of the characters that they gave me, and I love these characters so much in the DCEU, that that is the perfect movie to make with these characters. That's what it seems like. Bro, trailers in the DCEU have lied, bro. Suicide Squad was going to be the best movie of all time. And look how that turned out. And Batman v Superman was going to be dope, too, but it was cool, but it just wasn't up to par, but... I don't know, hopefully this is the last of it. Hopefully we get our, sh our shit on track. Hopefully we can just ride and just pass Marvel as they're dying now. Because they have like 80 movies. So, hopefully we're the new wave. Ah, fuck, I hate saying that. Because it's like, I'm Marvel too. Like, I have Deadpool, and I have Black Panther, and I have Star-Lord, and I have Baby Groot. I have four Marvel characters up here, and I have one DC character. So, it just, I don't know. I just, ah, I love them both, but it's just like... So I've seen so much Marvel and Spider-Man Homecoming trailers coming out tomorrow. I basically know what it's going to be because there's so many movies and so many characters and I know how it works. So just, just this is so much more interesting to deal with because of just like, I have no idea what's going to happen. So let me know what you guys thought about this. Uh, if it was good, if it was not, I don't care. But let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.